Hey, what's going on? This is Hollywood Pap, and this is Behind the Track. Now, this track right here is called Matter. Now, how I came with this track right here, this is, this is one of those old tracks. It's probably like two or three years old. You know, I told you I was gonna sprinkle some on y'all. I was, was gonna sprinkle it. Here's that sprinkle right here. Here's that, uh, this, the sprinkle, here's the little slice of like, I guess, the carrots for the carrot cake, coconut slices, whatever. Here's the little icing on the top. Now, um, going through this track, I remember when uh, Ken Griff was here. Ken Griff was here a few years ago and he, he was in a studio and he just had this melody. And I'm in the studio listening to it. I'm like, this shit dumb hard. Like, what you doing with this? He said, I don't got no drums. I have nothing, nothing, nothing really. Like, he like has something. I was like, nah, it's not it. It's not it. You know what I mean? I was like, just send that over here. Send it over here. So, you know, so now I, I just pretty much got the, the melody, the sense and everything. So I said, Mind you, he sent me this synth, I already can hear the hook. I made the hook just so I hear the synth. The beat's not even made yet. The beat's not made. So which why I be saying sometimes, I think it's easy to make R&B than like a lot of genres. R&B, to me, it's easy to create. Um, when the, the, the writing aspect but when it comes to making the beats the top 40 house jersey club reggaeton that's easy but the hardest one to me is probably like trap music and stuff like that because the calculation you got put in back to this so he sends me the melody I already, already got the hook I already got the hook so since I already had the hook I said I gotta make this beat that slaps so fucking hard that it's like, it's undoubtable, like this shit has to go. This shit has to go. So, cooked up the beat, and then cooked up the beat, and then recorded that shit right there. Right there, that nigga just watching me like. You took the melody, made a hook. You made the beat, and then now you just record everything. So, it just shows that the ear that I have, the passion for the music, the love I have for the music, and nigga, if I have my sight set on this shit, my nigga, we outside with it. So, so like I said, I recorded um, first the hook and everything, and then I sat on the song. I sat on the song. I listened to the song for like a year or so. I'm like, in my mind, I was like, yo, I don't really know what to do with it. At the moment, I'm looking like, do I drop this, do I not? I only had, honestly, it was just the hook, the verse, the hook, that's it. I was like, yo, for a long period of time, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna drop uh, another verse and then I'm gonna drop a bridge. I was like, nothing is, it's nothing creative is coming through my mind. It's like, yo, whatever I got right here, as long as it is, that was just the constant battle, yo short, sweet, to the point, let's go with it, and you know, but you know, like I said, and this song is pretty much about, you know, enjoying the female's body, like, yo, shorty, we understand they just get in BBLs left and right, it don't matter, it don't matter, the fuck, the doctor gave it to you, you worked out, it don't matter, it don't matter, it don't matter, it don't even matter. No, no. Bring it right here. Bring it right here. That's it. That's it. So that's pretty much what, how I came up with this song. It's just like, just watching on social media, watching when you walk outside the door, it's just BBLs left and right, and then you gotta figure is that a BBL? It's like, it don't even matter. Not 1%. Not even 1%. So that's pretty much how I came up with the song. 
And this song is a total vibe. I love this song. Like I said, this is one of those songs that I've had on the shelf that I had to, yeah, give me that shit. And then give it to y'all.